Man, late start to my day. You know, you're getting old when you take a nap and uh, you think it's the actual next day. Man, that sucks. Nonetheless, uh, beautiful day here in the valley. I spent most of it uh, working on stuff for chaos nutrition and getting the website taken together. Seatbelt, always a seatbelt, always a seatbelt. BMW always wants to make sure you're safe. You're never gonna be able to get in the car and just drive away. They know. All right. So, topic of discussion for today. Wait, I missed everything else, didn't I? Yeah. Like, see, that's what happens. Your mind is all foggy. So, coming to you from the Valley of the Sun. It's about 95 degrees, man. It's uh, it's pretty late in the day, though. It's probably four, four thirty, maybe. And. Uh, Usually this is when it gets a little warmer, so we're getting lucky. Uh, but you can definitely feel that uh, summer is coming upon us. But it's eased into it this year. I'm telling you, man, normally uh, normally summer does not play. It comes and it comes with a fury, and you either are ready for it or you're not. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't wait. This time uh, this time around, honestly, after all the years I've been here, uh, it's it's kind of easing into summer. It's kind of wild. Kind of cool because uh, we still have a few nights that have been relatively cool and moderate. So uh, if you're thinking about moving to Arizona, uh, just be prepared for the heat, man. There's just nothing like it. I mean, you, you, you never get used to it. I don't care what anyone says, um, but I will tell you, if you uh, get yourself a pool or you have a house that has a pool or you're into the community pool kind of thing, um, you'll be very happy. You just, you need one, period. I don't care who you are. Um, either that or you're going to stay inside a whole lot and you're going to utilize uh, your AC with a whole lot of water. Um, I'm assuming that's how old folks do it. I don't care if I'm old or wrinkly. I think I'm still getting in the pool. Well, that, that might be uh, put out for the jury right now, but for right now, that's the story and I'm sticking to it, man. So nonetheless... Topic of discussion today, Liver King responds a second time. That's right. Liver King responded a second time. Um, so how it went was on his story, he's flying in a private jet. And uh, I'm not picking on the guy, just popped up into my feed. And it, it's just, you know, you can't sell the whole caveman thing. I didn't, I didn't know cavemen flew. I mean, flying private jets, that is. So... Um, but maybe, maybe if you got a good stock of liver, you know, or monkey brains or whatever you're eating or, you know, horse testicles, whatever you're eating, then I guess it doesn't matter, right? Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter if you're on a private jet. The guy's doing well. So hats off to him in that regard. Um, I'll never knock anyone's, uh, flow per se, but, uh, you know, it, it just boils down to, at his age, to look that way, you know, it's just, again, we're on that whole Matty thing. So he responded, and I'll put it right up, right here, right now. Let's have a look at it. And uh, he basically just says he's not going to be deterred uh, with the subprimals talk. He considers everyone that's not a primal, uh, basically a primate, um, there are subprimals. And he's not going to waste his time worrying about the opinions of subprimal people. So forget about it. And that's the story he's sticking to. Now, very respectful, though. So I got to admit, with a guy with a, a few million followers, um, you know, Pretty respectful way to to, uh, to respond. So I'll give him that as well. Um, but like I said, you know, there's really, at the end of the day, just to kind of hopefully bear the hatchet per se, there's nothing wrong with taking testosterone or hormone replacement as you're getting older. Your body needs it, man. It, your body can no longer produce produce the amount of testosterone necessary to maintain a good life. And I'm telling you, he's got a big enough platform 
where he could actually, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it out there because it'll be a great business move. But when you got a platform that big, it's it's almost better to talk about how you can help men uh, regenerate, you know, and 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 have a fountain of youth per se. Because let me tell you, you go into any 24-hour hospital or whatever they call these little side places here, these little, um, you know, standby, standalone um, EDs. They're not, when you first walk in, they're not checking your testosterone. First thing they're gonna check, blood pressure, temperature. Um, they're, they're probably gonna take a urine sample, a blood sample. But in that blood sample, they're not they're not checking for your testosterone levels, guys. And that in that blood sample that you're giving them, they're checking for disease. They're checking for, you know, hemocrit levels, etc. They're not they're not checking necessarily for testosterone. Um, and I'm and I'm here to tell you, if you're a man over the age of 30 years old, your testosterone is being hammered just by everyday stress in life, just by the the inherent characteristic of you being a man and being that age with everything going on and what you're trying to keep up with, you might feel good. You might look great, but you are you are losing that fountain of youth and it's coming. Now, some people just say, well, then let me be, man. If that's what's happening and my body is actually, you know, shutting itself down and I'm getting old, then let me get old. Hey, more power to you. However, there, there have been studies that, and many, 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 many studies that have shown, you know, one of the reasons why men have, and, and don't quote me, I'm not a doctor on this, but one of the main reasons why men have strokes, heart attacks early in the morning is they have a, a, a slump in their testosterone levels and then a quick spike in the morning as they arise, hence you get the, uh, the boners and such when you wake up, right? So at least you should be. And if you're not, that's a big sign that your your libido shot and your testosterone's like on vacation so get to a wellness doctor get 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 to someone where they can test your blood test your testosterone levels i think that's a, a this is a great time to talk about it and there's nothing wrong if if mr brian aka liver king um is on a trt or hrt program you should talk about it openly, maybe even promote the company. I'm just saying, and I'd like a little bit of that residual now that I've given him some insight and some education on maybe, you know, his next business venture. So I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't, you don't have to live in a closet because you're on testosterone, all right? I mean, your body makes it naturally. If up to the point it doesn't make it naturally, you have to, you just have to. You have to, you know, give your body the testosterone necessary so that you can have a long life and feel good every day and not be, you know, slumped out, tired, weak, no libido. You know, you got man boobs. You got, you're losing hair, et cetera, et cetera. You got to do something to fix that, guys. You know, that's the first step. I mean, you can't lose your manhood uh, just because, well, I'm getting older and it's just a part of life. No. You know, there's, there's a gentleman at my gym who's in his 80s. He has had numerous surgeries. He really, really swears by the fact that he's been on TRT uh, since he's been about 35 years old. So we're talking a guy who's been using testosterone for the past, what, I don't know, 30, 40 years maybe or longer? And the guy looks great, all right? I mean, even with all the surgeries, he stays lean. His wife's in the gym. She plays tennis, uh, and they're... You know, they're big proponents of it. And, and, and I'm telling you, it's, you got to eat. There's nothing wrong with it. It's when you abuse something um, is, is when you're going to have that problem. So for the liver king, man, I know it's a great gimmick. It's working. It's ass off for you. Hats off to you. People are buying it like they buy isogenics, like they buy the other snake oil stuff. But if it's working and people are willing to spend their money on it, who am I to judge? You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, Yet, yet they'll question, do fat burners work? I mean, it just depends on who the person is and, and if you're putting in the work and if, you know, it's just, it's a supplement. It will help you uh, have an advantage if you're still, if you're working out, doing the, doing the right things. Um, 
But however, you know, if you're if you're selling a gimmick, that liver is the one is the key element to making you look the way you do. And we all know it's something else. I, I think that's where it becomes the problem. And um, you know, again, at the end of the day, is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world, even if you admit it. Um, and like I said, it might be because, and I said in a previous video, it might be because of his sponsors. Uh, it might be because literally, you know, people that are directing the ship over there are saying, man, if you go down this route, um, it's going to make you look un unnatural and that we've lied and that this, that, and the other. And I got to disagree because you're going to have health problems as you get older and you're going to have to announce it eventually. They all do. So, um, he's not just taking testosterone though. There's probably other items in there. And that's what they're worried about is that it's not just testosterone it's the other compounds that are helping him stay lean throughout the year okay uh, helps with the surgeries and everything else that's gone along with it and uh you know he's made himself the um the, the modern day rich piano per se i mean he's 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 killing in his own right over there and, and doing his thing um but the difference was was rich was honest about his approach and he was honest because he didn't want others to go down that path unless you were firmly educated in knowing the risks that associate themselves with what you're what you're taking. So that that's where we have a problem with it, right? And it's none of my business per se. I mean, he reached out to me, so it's a little bit more personal. Um, and uh, you know, and and he laid he laid his. Uh, opinion down and he's entitled to it but like i said at the end of the day um you know if you're taking four different compounds along with testosterone to get you to where you need to be uh then you're actually bullshitting people and if you're not telling the truth that's just my opinion do you have to shit no you're in no obligation for me or any anyone else to let anyone know what you are on if that is your secret sauce it is your secret sauce it just goes a long way of knowing that people aren't getting uh burnt by just saying, well, I'm eating liver and I'm not getting the same results as you. Um, I'm carrying around all these uh, wood pallets and, you know, I'm carrying chains and I'm walking barefoot in the forest and I look like shit. What's the secret liver king? Well, there you go. And that's where, that's where the dilemma and the problem, um, begins and, and how it's solved. So Mr. Liver King, man, you do what you want to do. Um, it's a free world. You're, you're, you're free to do what you want to do. Just at the end of the day, knowing you have a big audience, um, maybe most of it's entertainment, maybe some of it, they're actually buying your stuff, um, just buying gimmicks and buying bullshit um, is tough, because uh, a lot of hard earned money going down the drain with uh, people not getting the results they deserve. But again, uh, to each his own, man, if that's what you uh, decide to do, then you do it. Um, as far as us here at Cast Nutrition, I have a athlete coming aboard at the end of this week. Uh, she is a law enforcement officer. Uh, she's getting herself back into fitness in a, in a very hard, hardcore way. Very proud of her. Um, she's been following Cast for quite some time, and um, we've just been kind of missing uh, a couple things here, and, and we're looking for loyalty. So uh, she's big on that, and we're big on that, and we're excited to bring her aboard on Friday. I'll be announcing that. Um, couple new products coming out uh, just before July and that's going to be two new flavors of pre-workout stay tuned for that and uh, again guys I uh, really appreciate all your support appreciate everything you do for us so whether it's a purchase whether it's a like whether it's a subscription uh, whether you're just following one of your favorite athletes happens to be with cast nutrition we appreciate you and appreciate that it goes a long way so on that note guys I got to jump in here get some work done uh, my kids got karate a little bit today, so it's going to be a shorter workout because I took that nap because I'm not a primal, is it, maybe? <laughs> Nonetheless, guys, uh, Big Rob here from Cast Nutrition, and uh, just uh, head on over to the website if you can, take a look around. If there's something that matches your fancy, hook it up. There's always free shipping, and YouTube 20 is always a code you can use for a 20% discount off your orders. And that uh, doesn't matter if it's your first order or if it's your 100th. YouTube 20 works. Nonetheless, guys, stay ride or die for yours. Till next time, I'm out.